If you want to learn filmmaking, uh, when a scene gets you, mute the television, rewind it, and play it back. So take sound out, it's a big part of distraction, but actually watch that scene and take notes and figure out why it's working on you. I generally say that the average person today has the attention span of a rat on crack. All right, we're being bombarded by so much visual information, by such fast cuts, that if things go too slow, try watching a 70s, a 50s, or a 40s film. Unless you're over 40 years old, you're gonna have a very hard time, and you'll find that even no matter what age you are, when you look at older films, the pacing is so much slower. Why I start on the hands, and why I go to the face? To reveal the face second, I think, is more powerful, because that way you, you're feeling it before you see the person. All right, and then what's the first thing you see on his face? You don't actually see his face first, you see his rank. You see that he's the captain. And it's, it's a theme that's throughout the film that he's a human being like any one of us. And in fact, he has you know, issues that he's managing and that he's able to cover it up and be a leader. Who here is not seeing The Color Purple? Uh, it's a fantastic film to study again because it's a great study in scale. So look at how big he looks in frame, look how small she looks. And it's, notice how there's not much ca the movement here because this is the final resistance. This is the one time she stands up. We're gonna go tighter on her and her emotion. The camera is completely still. Look at how enormous he looks compared to her. And look at how small she is and powerless and how powerless her sister is. And then you can see the camera slowly starts to move and gain life again, almost as if it's telling us that the separation is inevitable. It's happening. Look how massive he is and his fist is. What do you notice most when you pan left to right or slide left to right? Vertical lines, not horizontal lines. It makes it feel richer. Any vertical lines? All over the place. That's called, it's part of the design of the shot. You want to feel that depth. Look at the foreground, middle ground, and background. That's what you'll see, a lot of those vertical lines. If you watch a lot of films, you're gonna have a lot of random columns, a lot of random foreground, middle ground, and background elements to make you appreciate the effort. Curtain goes up, motivates us to boom up. Is your career taking off? Why are we booming up? The entire purpose of this was to give you a very foundational understanding of every single move and why we do them. And the only terms you need to use on set are pan, tilt, roll, and then zoom. These are all what I call two-dimensional moves versus physically moving the camera, which is to push, to pull, to slide, to boom up or down. So if you master those eight terms, you can communicate to any camera crew in the world. So using all these different types of little techniques and adding them together can really help you up your production level. The moment you start to slide from right to left or left to right or push for no reason, you're in what I call a danger zone as a director. The white arrow that motivates the camera from left to right, there is the white guys, notice the blue vertical lines, the counter motion in red, keeps the camera going. If you ever have problems blocking your actors in your frame or on set, think triangles. Be amazed if you have two or three actors you think about triangular shapes, both on screen and on set physically. A little uncanny how everything seems to fit within that visual outline, isn't it? Vincent was very approachable and very friendly and took time to explain pretty much everything. The way I'm going to look at things, it's just going to be totally different now. And I just discovered that we're all learning still. And uh, no matter what level you are, there's always something more that you can learn. I'm never going to look at film the same way ever again, and my girlfriend is going to hate me every time we watch a movie together. Now I'll be looking at my work and what I do a lot differently now, and with uh, a clean vision again. I would have paid double to for that just for that lecture. It was that worth it? So really happy with that.